Hello everyone, welcome to 30 minutes learning. Today we are going to see how to use chart.js in OpenUA 5. Okay, first step we need to create new project in web IDE. Okay, let's go into web IDE. Create new project. Right click. New project from template. Select the TCP UF application. Project name chart.js. Okay, under namespace dev, click next, next, finish. Then step two, we need to extract that CDN JavaScript file. Okay, let's go to chartjs.org.com, then click that get starter, and you can see that chart.js cdn click here and it navigate to next page and here you can see the chart min.js click this one and download this file so it's already I have replace okay then expand that chart.js folder then inside that web ID, go through index.html here we need to tell that um, our library file so script src we can use that uh, script file or you can use that cdn directly Okay, first we're going to check with uh, CDN, then we're going to use that local uh, JavaScript file. Okay, we bind that library in our project. Next, we're going to create um, one development inside the content. So, we need to assign SAP UA core library here. So, XML NS. Core SAP dot UA dot core. Then we need to use this core library. Then HTML after rendering event on render. This event name called on render and um, content here we can write it down html elements mm. okay see here canvas just copy and paste it here remove that um, width and height it's not necessary and replace that less than greater than symbols with uh, html entities less than we can use ambersion and the lt semicolon just copy and replace this less than simple and replace that greater than simple with g G then double quotes ambition Q U O T Okay we finish it so front end work it's completed after um canvas it's render then we need to bind our chart so go to controller create a new function here G 
just close it this two tabs then next just copy this code I will explain you what is this so actually um, here we just uh, taking our uh, canvas we already declared here right so canvas id is my chart so here we taken for ctx here we use that uh, ctx binding our chart so three object in that um, chart having one is type and data and option so which type of um, chart we going to use for example bar line or um, radar donut like this so next one data so data having that um, three sets actually uh, label data sets and we can declare um, type for this data which um, type of chart it going to use we can give that multiple data sets also okay third one option we can tell um, scale um, that going to display and um, legendary um, text color anything we can change in the option if you look at the document they clearly explain everything how to use this uh, script here we're going to just see um, basic chart display okay okay um, we just run that application select the index of html if you see inside the source cdn uh, it's loaded so you can see that uh, chart bar chart we can use uh, any type of chart for example donut i will show you change that type instead of bar donut and refresh okay it looks great okay it's working now a program with a cdn we are using so instead of cdn we're going to use a local library so we already already download that uh, javascript library file we need to import here so right click that web app folder and click new select that new folder folder name lib click ok and import file or project browse and select that file chart admin.js click ok go to script instead of this file src.lib current folder lib inside short dot min dot js okay then refresh our application again okay it's working so if you click f12 now if library it will load it, our custom one okay so we can use this library a different way instead of using html file we can use this library inside our controller so in that definition area 
next we can define our new file our namespace short js our project name then file lib then short dot min we don't need to um, mention dot js it's automatically considered as a script file javascript file okay we can hide two script one is cdn and a library local library in that index html so we can directly load that script file in the controller and again we're going to run our application okay let's uh it's working so uh, let's be going to check that um line chart Okay. Okay, great. It's working. So all different type of charts we can use without any custom controller in OpenUFI. Okay, that's all, guys. Uh, if you want to tell anything about this video, please write your uh, comment arrange down in command, and don't forget to subscribe my channel and make sure to click bell icon and uh, turn on the notification for my future video. Thank you. Bye.